Wine drinkers rejoice. This segment is for you. Chef Nicholas Schaus, he is the co-owner of Twisted Rose Winery and Eatery. He's here to show us how to create a delicious three-course dinner using one bottle of wine. But I want you to experience this from the beginning. When you walk into Twisted Rose, ladies, thank you. We are greeted with a glass of Absolutely. wine. Okay, we're, let's let's go ahead and drink. Mm. Okay, now we are ready. Now that's an introduction. Absolutely. What a wonderful, wonderful experience at the Twisted Rose. And Absolutely. Chef, I appreciate you being here. We're doing rosemary, lemon rosemary chicken, mm -hmm. and a house red wine salad. Mm -hmm. Here's the goal. This is the bottle of wine that we're using today. That's correct. Throughout this show, you're going to see this bottle disappear. We're going to use the same bottle of wine for all three recipes, all three starting with the salad. Yes. And what did you do here? What did you? That create? is our house uh, red wine. Salad. It is a spinach green um, tossed in our red wine vinaigrette, mm -hmm. some fresh avocado. We slice fresh romas, bake them off with a little Parmesan cheese and a little olive oil, garnish with some fresh shaved Parmesan Reggiano and some diced applewood bacon. Oh, that looks amazing. And is mm -hmm. that the wine we just sampled? That's correct. When we came in. So we will always, ladies are greeted with a glass of the house wine, and you guys mm -hmm. have a wonderful array. So, how do Absolutely. we prepare this rosemary chicken? Um, we start with a very hot pan, as you can see. And that's with a big old pan. Yes, absolutely. Be careful, it will sizzle okay. and crackle. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to want to put our chicken in, and we want it to be skinned down because we want to get a nice sear on that chicken. Okay. Let it sizzle, oh, let it sear. Now, do you, I noticed you don't have any seasoning on that chicken. Um, it, it is. I oh, it season is. it a little prior and then it soaks in and it absorbs. Okay, I what like did to you rub use? it all down. Just some salt and pepper, just okay. a natural seasoning. SP, that's what the chefs say is the best. Okay. Absolutely. Truly enjoy that. Yes. So we'll get a nice sear going on that. Then How we want to go. That be in the pan? Just until it gets a nice golden brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we will go ahead and use our signature red wine here. And we want to deglaze with a little bit of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Marinade, a nice sauce on it, isn't it? Absolutely, and it'll lock in all the flavors that were caramelized on the bottom of the chicken and uh, help reiterate that flavor back into our sauce. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. So and then tell we us just, a little bit about uh, the Twisted Rose. The Twisted Rose, um, the concept came about of uh, traditional recipes that we use all the time, and uh, I put my little signature twist on it. Yeah. I like to add different fruits and different wines to my flavors to incorporate um, just a unique kind of uh, experience and ambiance with it. And yeah, and like it's that. really nice because it's comfort food, but it with is. a twist. It is. Absolutely. It's always something that somebody can relate to. Yeah. Somebody can uh, enjoy uh, things that you would eat at other places and get a sense of... Uh, so you're putting all the veggies and the potatoes right in that nice marinade. Right in it, right in it, right? absolutely. Okay. And it's that's why it's just a nice, um, easy, down-home recipe that anybody can relate to, anybody mm -hmm. can do. It's a very user-friendly. A one-pot um, meal, I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. We just want to cut up some nice carrots mm -hmm. and make a nice little stew. So it's a one-course meal all in one pot. I love mm -hmm. it. And one bottle of wine, which is really nice. <laughs> absolutely. It and makes I'll it use, very um, convenient. About two cups of it. I use about a half a cup in my marinade. We have some fresh sprigs of rosemary. Can I smell? Absolutely. Ooh, that's really nice. helps incorporate yeah. some nice herbal flavors in there. It smells good. And then we definitely want our lemon in there. So we want to Cut it about two thirds away. We want to leave a third. That way we can make a nice, pretty garnish on the plate mm -hmm. afterward. Nice. And then really carry that ambiance all the way through the dish. I love that. Let's not forget our seasoning. Mm -hmm. Can't have enough. And how long should that simmer? That will cook and simmer for about 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so you the really chicken. You really want that chicken all... tender okay. and almost fall off the bone, just like you would make some nice ribs. So or, really, uh, I like what you said. It's kind of just like a veggie, you know, kind of a stew, you know, just a absolutely. comfort food. And, and the Twisted Rose, of course, all about comfort food, and it's all about making sure we get that nice mm -hmm. feeling of home with a little twist, when you least expect it. Absolutely. All oh. made from scratch, all very healthy oriented. I love it. Absolutely. Well, Chef Nicholas is just getting started. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we're taking this same bottle, this one bottle of wine, and we're going to carry it throughout the entire show. Okay, so this is going to go down to the very bottom. So Absolutely. we're excited. And what are you going to prepare for us next? Um, our, my signature house bread pudding. Love it, mm -hmm. love it, love it. Chef Nicholas just getting started, and Terry, it smells amazing over here. 